How did dingo become an apex predator in Australia? Australia is infamous for being the country where every living animal can hurt you. From urban myths of carnivorous koalas to over 100 species of venomous snakes, this continent is full of fascinating animal species. The varied climate varying from tropical rainforest in the north to windy mountains in the south hosts over 100,000 different animal species. As a result, Australia is one of the most biodiverse places in the world. However, one animal has risen above all, and currently its population is being controlled nationwide. This is Wild Facts, and today we will tell you a story of dingoes, the legendary wild dogs that are dominating the food chain in the Australian continent. Before we start, consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the notification bell so you're the first one to see our new video. Dingoes 101. Dingoes are a species of the Canis genus, which makes them distant cousins of coyotes, jackals, and wolves. They are the largest mammalian predator in Australia and inhabit most of the continent except Tasmania and the easternmost parts of the mainland. However, their size is not that imposing. On average, male dingoes are 23 inches or 59 centimeters at shoulder height and weigh about 35 pounds or 16 kilograms, while females are just an inch shorter and weigh 31 pounds or 14 kilograms. The color of dingoes varies greatly by their geographical location. For example, brown fur with a reddish tint is the most common and can be found throughout most of Australia. However, you can find completely black dingoes in forests spanning the northeast of Australia. Finally, there are white dingoes living in the Australian Alps located in the southeast. Dingoes are agile and extremely slim, most of them exhibiting exposed ribs, making them extremely quick and efficient at moving. They are a true marvel of nature as they evolved multiple unique features not found in other canines. For example, they can turn their heads 180 degrees in any direction, an ability mostly found in birds. It allows dingoes to effectively scout their area, locate their prey, or avoid danger. Another insane fact about these fascinating creatures is that their limbs are double-jointed. It makes it impossible for dingoes to temporarily dislocate their hips. As a result, they are one of the best climbers in the Canis genus and can easily reach their prey hiding in trees or on the cliffs. Additionally, dingoes can rotate their wrists, which allows them to dig extremely quickly and capture unsuspecting prey with ease. The final unique feature of dingoes is that their head is relatively broad and it's actually the widest part of their body. It results in a wide jaw that fits huge and sharp teeth that can create an absurd bite force making them perfect at finishing off their prey. On average, dingoes have a bite force of 115 newtons per kilogram adjusted for body weight. To better understand what that means, let's compare it to other canines. For example, gray wolves' bite force is 130 newtons, coyote is 105, and black-backed jackals is just 80. Knowing this, we can see that dingoes possess one of the strongest bites in their genus. Finally, dingoes don't have body odor, which makes them undetectable by their prey, and they are immune to most parasites like ticks. Now combine all of these features together with their top speed of 43 miles per hour, or 69 kilometers per hour, and a jump distance of 13 feet, or 4 meters. We can clearly see how they came to dominate the Australian food chain. Just like most canines, dingoes also tend to live in packs inhabiting a specific territory. The pack doesn't remain the same and some members leave and others join, but in general their size varies from 3 to 12 dingoes. Most interestingly, dingoes take turns in their role in the pack. Some days certain dingoes of the pack will go hunting, while others will protect and raise the pups, but they always rotate their turn in activities. So what are dingoes eating? They are so-called opportunistic predators, meaning they prey on anything that comes their way. The diet ranges from small animals like lizards and rabbits to large mammals like cattle and kangaroos. Dingoes also scavenge for food, feasting on carcasses that are abundant during droughts. These canines are one of the latest to enter the knowledge of modern zoology. Europeans first sighted dingoes in 1623 when Dutch explorers recorded wild dogs living with indigenous people of Australia. However, it's likely dingoes were already inhabiting Australia for thousands of years, as the oldest fossil is dating back to 3,300 years ago. 
It's speculated that indigenous people of Australia hunted with dingoes, but that they preferred domestic dogs from Europe when they became available after colonization. Today, there are still many questions left unanswered about the origins of this species. It's likely that Austronesian people brought their domestic dogs to Australia, and there they evolved separately from that point on. While colloquially most Australian canids, including feral and wild dogs and their hybrids, are called dingo, the newest research shows that dingoes are their own species separate from domestic dogs. They have few natural predators, essentially meaning they are king of their land, just like lions are kings of the African savannas. Now is the perfect time to dive deep into their relationship with other animals, especially their bittersweet relationship with Australia's national animal, the kangaroo. Dingo's place in the Australian ecosystem. As an apex predator in Australia, dingoes influence nearly every other animal species on the continent. For example, feral goats are capable of living nearly everywhere in Australia, but they can only be found in areas where dingoes are absent. It's because feral goats can't compete with dingoes and have been hunted to extinction everywhere else. But how do dingoes interact with other predators of Australia? They are known to coexist with feral cats, red foxes, and quolls without much interaction between these species. However, it's reported that sometimes dingo packs engage in territorial wars with red foxes, especially around the water sources. Dingoes are also known to exclude feral cats from carcasses and even attack them. What about dingo's relationship with Australia's beloved national animal kangaroo? Most Australians are familiar with the fact that attacked kangaroos lead dingoes to water, where they drown their attackers. However, scientists investigating these anecdotes actually found that most victims of such a defensive method are not dingoes, but rather feral dogs. In reality, kangaroos are virtually defenseless against dingoes. While some dingoes take on hunting kangaroos by themselves, they are way more successful when they hunt them in packs. Red kangaroos are the biggest existing kangaroo species and can reach a top speed of 44 miles per hour or 70 kilometers per hour, which is higher than dingoes. Because of that, dingoes use a strategic approach to successfully hunt kangaroos. When a pack spots a kangaroo, they start chasing after, but only a couple of dingoes are running at their top speed. Stronger dingoes are preserving their energy and getting behind. However, when the kangaroo becomes exhausted and slows down, they turn it up a notch and attack the kangaroo, taking it down. However, dingoes are most known for interacting with livestock. According to some sources, they cause farmers about 30 million in damages every year. Dingoes are infamous for attacking sheep and goat farms, and they sometimes even attack cattle. Additionally, these canids can spread diseases like hyatidosis and neospora. There are even cases of them transferring rabies to humans. Because of that, the dingo population is being controlled in most parts of Australia. So are dingoes the ultimate predator of Australia? The answer is a strong yes, because only a few species of animals can pose threat to dingoes. The most formidable enemy is water buffalo, who can weigh over 2,200 pounds or 1,000 kilograms and carry five feet long or 1.5 meter horns. However, buffaloes don't actively hunt dingoes and they only hurt them when defending themselves. The only animal in Australia that preys on dingoes is a wedge-tailed eagle. It's the largest predatory bird in Australia with a wingspan of nine feet or 2.7 meters. However, these eagles usually hunt dingo pups and rarely take on adults. Now you know how dingoes became an apex predator in Australia. Its unique physique and unmatched adaptability destined it to sit at the top of the food chain in one of the most biodiverse places on Earth. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and suggestions for future videos in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel and check out my previous videos. Until next time.